Hello! Welcome back to Excuse, Excuse My, My Friend. Friend. I'm Julia. I'm Alexis. And hello, hello. Welcome to the pod. We're back in the kitchen. <laughs> Just a different view. Now you're getting our cabinets. You are seeing every single thing. <laughs> Maybe we'll be in the bathroom next. I don't That'd know. That'd be fun. Um, That'd be fun. Just taking a shit. Let's watch. Let's just That'd be a that. time. That'd be a time. You don't want to see that. A little glimpse into our lives the last week. Uh, we have started spring cleaning early um and by spring cleaning i'm saying like a spring total declutter um i have clothes that i've held on to since middle school that i still wear or that i have a weird sentimental attachment like i feel like at least for me i'm on the cusp of like hoarder um i'm not like messy like a hoarder but i'm like i'm so sentimental that i hold on to yeah. things and I try to justify mm. why I shouldn't get rid of it or I might need this later on. So finally, we both like forced, like encouraged each other and forced ourselves to just get rid of things that we haven't worn or thought about. And so we literally, our whole place, you can't see it now, but we have bags and bags and bags. I have like nine oh trash bags of clothes I'm taking to Buffalo Exchange. Um, and just, I'm still going. I have so much stuff. Like I feel like when you have so much stuff, your stuff starts to own you. And that's like where I'm at, where I'm just like done. I just want it out and gone. I mean, I've even come into your room and I'm like, Julia, do you really need this? Are you really going to use this? Um, I've done a lot of work around hoarding because I feel like I was the sentimental hoarder. I'm going to find a picture and put it somewhere. You, when I was younger, you could not see the ground. But guess what? I knew exactly where everything was. You asked me where the yellow <laughs> shirt was that had Abercrombie on it. I'm like... I'll find Wait. it in the middle of this pile in the back of my room. So your messy room back then, I never knew this. Was it a hoarder, like a sentimental thing? Or was it like you were just dirty? Or was it like, I can't get rid of this? Like, what was it for you? I think for me, it was just like chaos. I think my life was chaotic. So you liked the chaos in um, No, I didn't. It just kind of happened. And then I think I was, I was just hoarding so much. Yeah. And it was so sentimental. And I could use that. Or I don't want to get rid of that. Right. I went to this therapist one time. And she was like, you're bringing bringing all your shit into my office and we're going through every one of them. I remember I oh, cried. I literally my. cried. You literally brought would, all your yes, stuff. All to my stuff in bags. It took about two to three trips. My mom and I both taking them there. And she was like, do you really need this? Like, why is this? Da, da, da. Wow. We went through the whole process. What and a good therapist. I feel like that's amazing. such a cool thing to do. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> and uh, it helps so much because it definitely puts things in perspective. I still sometimes have that like, eh, I could use this. But then honestly, I'm kind of doing the opposite where like I want nothing around yeah. me. Yeah. I'm like, get rid of all. No, that's my <laughs> thing. I'm like, well, I might wear this. I might, there might be a disco party I get invited to in the future. So the sequin dress, I might need it. It's mm -hmm. like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then like, we'll go to an event and I'll save like, the wristbands from the event because I want to look back yeah. and be like this was yeah. such a cool party so yeah. I don't know I just but I'm just at that point where my stuff is starting to own me and I read somewhere that like your environment is a reflection of like your inner totally, life I agree. and I don't want my life to be chaos anymore I'm like you know what it's just stuff we can replace it but I'm still working through it because last night I was looking over at my bags of clothes I'm getting rid of and I had a thought I was like oh my gosh I regret putting this in here I'm gonna go and take stuff out because like what if I'm gonna need that so mm -hmm. I I don't know I feel like if you're gonna go through and get rid of stuff maybe just get rid of it right away because right now I'm sitting on it and I'm thinking about it and I might take stuff out so what is the one thing that you you hold on to the most like what's the one mm -hmm. item in your room that you have so much of that you're like eh, I, I still need or I still want um probably clothes like I have clothes from like middle school and high school so clothes. I have a I have a pair of my ex best friends underwear that I still have okay we're like <laughs> it's so weird we're holding no, on to the that, undies that I got rid of I was like because I was going through again Why are you holding again, on to those no, I have so many pairs of socks too like mm. socks underwear from the year over the years and with mm -hmm. socks over the years like Th they're not in pairs anymore. There's a yeah. like random, just like assortment of socks and it was just driving me nuts. So I just threw away all of them and I'm starting over with new socks. But as I was going through this, I was like, this is, I'm not going to say her name. I was like, this is so-and-so's underwear. Why do I still have this? Why am I still wearing it? Um, yeah, bye. Yeah, I've shared underwear with friends. I don't know. So, whatever. okay, yours but is clothes, socks. Clothes. Yeah, I think clothes, you know what it is too? What? New things. Mm. Brand new things. Yep. Brand new clothes with the tags brand new beauty products, um, brand new things. I have a weird thing with not wanting to open or use brand new things. Um, so I don't know. I think 
it's my own thing. It's my, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. What about you? I'm like, I don't know what to <laughs> so, say. It's just bad. It's um, weird. Okay. Mine would definitely be uh, sleep shirts. I have so many sleep shirts. I love sleep shirts. And yeah. I just can't get rid of them. The other thing for me is sweatshirts. I'm like, why do I have so many damn sweatshirts and sleep shirts? Like, I love the big baggy shirts. I do too. And I have so many of them and I hate doing freaking laundry. So I feel like for me, I have so many because I'm like, okay, that's for one day. That's for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I don't want to do laundry. Yeah, I'm with you. And like when I was going through my sleep shirts, not to cut mm-hmm. you off, I like same. I feel and like another <laughs> thing for me is like, it's so funny you say the underwear thing. I feel like the underwear thing, 100 million percent. I'm like... Half the time, like when I wear leggings, I don't even wear underwear. So I'm like, how, why do I have so much damn underwear? No, same. I don't ever wear underwear. And the so underwear, I don't know why I have so many pairs of underwear. And some of them, I hate to say this, but I'm like, I have like, like period no, stains on I was them. Just and I'm like, say, no, because, why is this no, not thrown because, out? This is no, disgusting. Because you have to have a designated um, pile of period underwear and then a pile of like nice underwear. So I purposely have crappy underwear to but wear I, when I'm on I my period. Don't. That's my point. And I need to learn that. I don't. And so I just fuck up half of my underwear and I'm like, why do And then, or like thongs that like are hat, like, they're coming apart. We're but I'm so like, gross. We're you know so what? Gross. You know those thongs or those underwear that just like feel right? They fit right with all the different outfits. Like I have some that are like almost like too tight and it yeah. like leaves a mark. No, I, I hate, hate that. Yeah. Why am I not getting rid of them? I don't know. I don't know. I should get rid of all my... I don't Anyways. ever wear underwear. I don't like wearing underwear. It's so uncomfortable um, for me. But yeah, no, I period underwear that's the thing that's, that's the thing so <laughs> yeah. but yeah no also with the sleep shirts like going back to that i was going through my sleep shirts and i got rid of like cute t-shirts that i've gotten at events and stuff with tags that are nailed like, i got rid of that but i kept some old spray tan stained ones because i like sleeping in them but those I are like the best wearing, ones i like wearing them after doing a spray tan or like you know your shirts that you wear when you dye your hair just stuff you don't care about i feel like it's yeah. good to have some of that so I don't know. I'm really weird about my stuff, but that's just, that's a glimpse into our life this last We're trying week. to inspire you to do some cleaning. Clean it up, baby. <laughs> Can we talk about, to switch, kind of switch, switch gears here. Can we talk about last night? I'm still thinking about that guy at that damn Mexican restaurant that we go to. Oh, yes. Our, our weekly spot that we go to. It'll be a two second thing, but I just need to vent to everyone. Like, I want to know if everyone's Well, we made, when it happened, we made sure to be like, we are talking about this on the podcast. Yeah. I um, decided to go a little bit early to get a table. I waited for Julia. And as I walked in, I sat there. I'm sitting there by myself, just chilling, thinking that no one's paying attention to me. No one's watching right, me. Right. You don't think that. You know, you're just like, you're doing your thing. Mind your business, you know. Julia gets there. We're sitting at the booth. We're eating our food. And all of a sudden, this guy, he was probably in his 70s. What did he turns and he goes, the second you walked in, I was checking you out. And what did he say? And yeah, he's, he's like, he's like, you look good. You I look saw good. You walk in. I, I saw you walk checking in. you out. <laughs> and then that, so I thought, okay, that's so no, sweet. But then, then he says, but then this is where it gets like, this, this is where it gets where, juicy. This is where we're like, this is where we lose all hope in men. Yeah. Okay. And so that part was cute. It's so nice to compliment someone. Yeah, it like mean, it means the sugar world. Daddy. Totally. Awesome. We love that. Then he said, um, what did he say? He said, I'm meeting someone here. So don't say anything. Yeah. Don't tell them that I told you that, <laughs> but she, I'm about to go get her. So he, we're like, is he really? We're like, he's playing. I'm like, he's okay, he's real. playing. All of a sudden, five minutes later, here he comes in with this woman that has arm no idea, her. arm around her. And he looks back and he gives me a wink. And I'm like, ew. Which I'm assuming is like his wife because she was around his age. Oh, I don't um, think his wife. I think like newbie. They didn't seem like he seemed like, really? You think wife? I don't know. I maybe, thought, he's, like, maybe he's done with her nagging and her crap being married 40 maybe. years. I don't know. Um, and then yeah. it gets worse. So they're like across from us and I'm seeing him. I'm literally watching him just like. You could just tell he's just like looking at this and he would like keep like winking. I kept like, looking dude. over and winking at her. Like what? I, and this poor woman, this poor woman. This poor I woman. Hope, wait, and, then, and then my head's racing. I'm like, I wonder if that's ever happened to me on a date. Like if the guy's waiting for me and then he like sees someone else that's totally. hot. Or like and he's like should, looking yeah. over like, I totally. wish I was like, with I wish her. I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've done that. I've like dated guys and if they have like a friend that's hotter, I like low key. I'm like, You're I like, want to be with your friend, not you. With, no. <laughs> Yeah, but that's no, seriously, that was pretty ballsy of him. I give him some grace because he's 70, and at that point, he doesn't give a fuck. Um, Yeah, he's he's just like living his life. But that also, in my mind, I was like, guys never change. 
they just don't change. You think if he, they, you know, they're in their seventies, they're older, they they're over more, women. Yeah. They don't give a shit. Oh no. They have more respect. His they, hormones were still rocking. Baby. Still, he's still ready to rock and roll. Yeah. He, yeah. so would you go, if he was not with her, would you go for him? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, <laughs> absolutely. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Seventies. I draw the line at I like think 50s. He was 70. I would say maybe 65. There's, no way i would say he 70. was old okay he was up there whatever he, he was, up was there. Um, 60s clearly old. he's still yeah going in Anyways. there he's still he still <laughs> has some desires for a woman um, for a woman and at that same dinner here's another conversation that was brought up we were with some friends and we were like we should post about this and put this on our story but then we had to think about all the other people that we didn't invite because everyone is so damn sensitive Everyone is literally so... I mean, I get that way. If I see something, oh, I'm like, I, I didn't too. get invited. I'm like, why well, wasn't I invited? But here's what's tough. I feel like is, I get that way more than you, though. I'll bring yeah. it up to you. I'll come into your room and I'll be like, oh my God, they didn't invite us to this. I what mean, I'm used to not getting invited to things. I was such a dork growing up. Um, but here's the thing that's tough is that we belong to... We don't belong to just one friend we group. Belong to we, don't, we don't belong to just one friend group. We're like cool with a lot of people from different groups. Yeah. So there's times when we want to have get-togethers. Which I like, yeah. But we can't because it's just a whole assortment and we can't invite everyone. Not everybody's going to get no. along. Um, so we purposely don't do that. Because, but I also acknowledge that I'm not going to get invited to everything. And that's that's OK. Like this happened last year when we didn't get invited to that one party. That one. I, the big yeah, one. The big yeah, one. I get that. You held on to that for a while. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? I don't want to go anyway. I don't like going out anyway. So I'd rather stay home in my sweatpants. But um, you know, it's, it's a tough situation. But it's sure. upsetting because like the people that put it on or the or the girls that are going out to dinner, like they pretend like they're oh, we're all good friends. That's what pisses me off. Welcome to Los Angeles, baby. That's just in general. You know, I have a good friend. She'll have things. Yeah. And I look back and I'm like, how come I wasn't invited to that? That's true. It's not that's just an like, LA thing. I mean, it happens weird. a lot here, but it's I think it's just a thing with people yeah. and you just yeah. got to put people in categories. Um, but yeah, so sometimes we refrain from posting cause we don't want the drama. Unfortunately, sometimes people think we're still in high school, even though we're not. I feel like I'm still in high school. Sometimes. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. I am so happy to not be in high school. I oh, hated high school. I loved high school. <laughs> After high school graduation, they all, the school put on like a senior trip to Disneyland. Yeah. After graduation, I was like, F you guys, peace out. I went to In-N-Out Burger with a couple of my friends. I was like, see ya. Really? I oh, I was not cool. So I sad. The high school I went to was notorious for like mean girls and how you look and how cool you are and like wearing four if you don't own four hundred dollar pair of jeans you're not cool like <laughs> it was it was uncool to okay it was uncool to be smart like Ooh. all the smart kids were uncool but look at them now let's be honest you did not go for those nerdy smart guys okay i was going for the bros for those, i was a bro, bro. bro. she was I a bro. like those bros with the I'm famous stars like, and striped shirts please don't act like <sighs> the smart people what about them i'm like julia you do not even go close to them please i'm not talking about today i'm just saying in general i just I mean, both in both of our high schools were just known for. Yeah, it was just it was bouge. rough going to high school in Scottsdale was rough. So today we're gonna have some fun. We are gonna play a little "Would You Rather" game with each other. We know each other really well, but I feel like some of these we specifically picked for each other yeah. that are gonna make things a little uncomfortable. It's gonna make all of us in you listening. It's gonna make you think too. Like, which one would you pick? Right, right, right. Like, right. I want listeners Not to us. be like, what would I pick in that situation? Totally, they're gonna be hard. Am I Team Alexis or Team Julia? It has nothing to do with that. We're though. gonna put a wedge between us. At least mine don't. Don't. I guess yours is different than I mine. I guess I just <laughs> think differently. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes. Um, okay. I guess you can go first. Okay, I'm going to start with just, you know, some simple light ones. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nervous. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Would you rather be in a bad relationship for the rest of your life or have no relationship for the rest of your life? You probably already know what my answer is, but I'm going to answer. I'm going to speak okay. for myself. Go. I would rather. I feel like this episode is going to make people hate me. Um, no, just speak the truth. I'm, gonna, I'm so. speaking like what the truth. Yeah. yeah, it's on my heart. Um. I would rather be in a bad relationship for the rest of my life because I have issues with being alone and that's mm -hmm. something I'm working through. So mm -hmm. I'm just being honest. So yeah. do you no, want the I, PR answer or the real answer? No, I feel like that's relatable um, though. Um, and I think, you know, my answer, I would be in no relationship for the rest of my life. So next, <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. 
Would you rather be more attractive or more intelligent? Ooh. Like me personally? Yeah, or for yourself. If you could pick Fuck. which one. You can only pick one. I'm just going to go with the opposite of you. Uh, Excuse me, you don't know what I'm going to say. Yes, I do. You'd say attractive. No, you don't answer for me. Um, answer for yourself. God, that's so hard. Why do you think I would answer that? Because you have before. I've we've been we've talked about this before. That's why I know that. Um, okay, I'm gonna I don't say that. I do. I'm gonna say intelligent. What about you? Uh, be more attractive. I'm just keeping it real. Why do you act like? Well, because like, I want to answer my own question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I definitely knew that already. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Would you rather work a morally questionable job that pays a lot of money? Or a job that helps a lot of people but doesn't pay much? Ooh. A job that helps a lot of people but doesn't pay much. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. At the end of the day, I got I got an answer to someone up there. So I just, I don't, you know. This was a hard one for me. Um, I think I would do the morally questionable job. I know you would. Yeah. Would you rather have all the money you could desire or the greatest love you could desire? <laughs> <laughs> I think you already know this. <laughs> um, I would rather have all the money I desire. Really? Yep. I would. It, you, so if you had all the money in the world, but you just ended up alone with no love at all, you'd be okay with that? But, but here's why. Because I feel like I also... Because you just buy, buy love No, <laughs> no. I, but I feel like I can find love in like other places and friends and family members. Like... I feel the most loved around like being with my entire family. Like I like love that feeling yeah. like there. I don't know a guy. I don't know. It just I've also seen just like terrible relationships. So I'm like, is marriage even like, I don't know. No. What if, yeah, but what know. if it's all the money in the world or the perfect, happiest, healthiest, most beautiful love money still, you would still pick money. Yeah. <laughs> money. Yeah. Okay, I would pick... Just because I'm more okay also being by myself. For like, sure. Like, I would take and I that and amazing. I would travel and I would do things and, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's different. I would pick the love. Yeah. Um, I think money is amazing, but I think I'm also... I get more fulfilled by, like, love and just, mm -hmm. like, beautiful connections and those moments with people. Like, if I was to be in, like, a mansion... But by myself at the end of the night, I think that would get really old. Mm -hmm. um, and I know myself. And if I could just be in like a studio apartment with my person, and it's a beautiful, great love. I, I would die a happy girl. <laughs> would you rather spend the next five years with the most amazing partner or have a one night stand with your celebrity crush? Say that again. Would you rather spend the next five years with the most amazing partner and the most amazing time with that person or have a one night stand with your celebrity crush? I would pick the partner for the next five years. I've already had a one night stand with my celebrity crush. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, I am more love driven. Okay. I, I been there, done that. I want, I want love. Definitely. What about you? One night stand. 100%. <laughs> yep. Would you rather travel anywhere you wanted for the rest of your life mm -hmm. for free or buy your dream home for free? Oh, damn. Ooh, that's really hard. I want to trip you up. Oh, that's really hard. Okay, so I can travel for the rest of my life for free. Anywhere you want for free. As many times as, as I want. As many. Everything's included. Stay in the nicest places. But, but I, not just once. Like, I can go as many yes, times Yes, the rest whenever. of your life. Wherever, however many okay, times. Okay, that. Travel. Really? Yeah, I would. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? I would pick my dream home. Yeah, I, I don't really <laughs> like traveling. I figured. I'm like, I can answer all these for both of us. Um, I, and I wish I did, but... What is the appeal with traveling? And I, I know a lot of people probably don't agree with me because people love traveling. I see so much stuff online like mm. travel, this and that. I hate flying. Um, I like my own bed. Mm -hmm. um, I can't poop when I travel. Um, <laughs> I end up like eating at restaurants and eating crap. So I come home feeling disgusting. Mm -hmm. um, my whole sleep schedule gets thrown off. Yeah. Um, 
what else? Yeah. Those, those are things I can name off the top of my head. So like, and I, I want to understand it, right? Because I travel a lot. I feel like yeah. we both do. Yeah. Maybe it's because I don't go to cool places. Correct. I go to the same four states to visit mm-hmm. my family members. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, can you explain it to me? I mean, when I've traveled places that like I actually wanted to like see or check out or like, oh my God, like I can't wait to go to this place. It was like a feeling of like, holy shit, this is what life's about. Like, really? Like, it's where? about like, Turks where? and Caicos. What was it like? Was it just like this place is it stunning? Was, like, it was what just, is it? It's like a rejuvenation type thing. It's like it gets your mind like in a totally different place. I don't know. It's like. Cause I'm kind of with you. I never really understood it. And then like the more you check out different places, like I'm like, okay, I kind of get the appeal of it. And it's just something totally new. It's more you have to talk about. It's you like feel better after going on this vacation. Or for me, it's about like experiences. If I can experience something new or different, like skydiving or scuba diving or whatever, to me, like that brings me happiness for sure. And I respect that. And I know a lot of people feel that way. Yeah. Um, I just, you're more of a home. I want to, if I could pick my dream home, I would make it so homey and cute and have my cute little family. Um, I thought you were about to say have my cute little fans. I'm like, oh. my fans. <laughs> maybe like, like a garden. Um, and just like make cookies with my person. And if we end up having kids, just like baking with my kids. And I don't know why that gets me so pumped up more than traveling. I'm just like, Oh, like my home. And like, I imagine like picture frames of like our wedding photos and our family photos and like a pet. Maybe I've never had pets. So I don't know about the pet thing, but <laughs> I'm such a dork. I'm such a homebody, but I'm like, I would, I would pick that, but yeah. it's cool to hear like with the travel. Cause I know some people relate to that. I wonder if anybody relates to me. Um, I'm sure there's plenty. Yeah, please. I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure a lot of, a lot more girls are going to relate to you than me. I think, I I feel like I'm just a little bit odd. Um, <clears throat> Okay, my next question for you. Would you rather have a conversation with your past self or your future self? With my past self. If I could go back to my past self, I would take her by the shoulders and shake her and ask, what are you doing? Because there's things that I've done in my past that I am not happy that I did. And it's part of like growing up and being a teenager and 21 and whatever. Um, But yeah. Yeah. Those are years you'll never get back. And that's like advice I would get from like older sisters and stuff. It's like, you're not going to get this time back. Why are you mm-hmm. wasting your time crying over this guy? Mm-hmm. Or why are you dating this guy? If you know, um, and I never understood it. Cause I was like in the moment and I would like date these men and like, and know, Oh, they're not for me, but I'm just having fun. And it, it's like years I won't get back. And I'm just like, what was I thinking? Anyway, that's a long winded, but it made winded you who you answer. Are today. So I guess I think I, I would go back and have a big sister talk with my younger, with my mm-hmm. past self. I think she would okay. really like that. I think she really needed that. Um, what about you? I would do the opposite. <laughs> I would have a conversation with my future self. What would you tell her? I would just, no, I would ask. I wouldn't even tell. I would just ask. I'd oh, be like, wait, did, wait, we, wait. did we did oh, we make oh. it? How are things? I'm not answer- I'm not- Were we successful? I'm like, I'm not understanding the question. Oh, so we can like ask the future self. Just, I'm going to stick with my answer. Yeah, I'm, gonna stick with I'm that. like, I feel like that's good. I, um, I would definitely talk to my future self for sure. Cause I think the future gives me the most anxiety. Really? You know, a lot of people like live more in the past. I feel like you're more like not in the past, but you like to think about the memories and all oh, this restaurant clothes that I never went to before. I'm like, huh? Like, who cares? I'm very so sentimental. So I think you're more sentimental, not in the past, but you think about more of that kind of stuff where I'm more like the future really is, I don't know. I get a whole thing with that. So I think I would talk to my future self and just ask her like, what's up? What do I got to do differently? Or what yeah, what do I, I like have that. to do in order to like achieve X, Y, and Z that yeah, I want in my life? I and like that. I would love to do that, but that's not possible. But that's so. <laughs> cuddle or make out? Oh, cuddle. <laughs> Hundred percent cuddle. <laughs> I'm cuddling that shit. No making out. I don't like the tongue. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You? I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with that. I think cuddling. I like cuddling because there's so many different ways you can cuddle. Making out is just kind of like that's just what like you know you can be little spoon, big spoon. They can like be you can like snuggle up and like nuzzle into their neck. You can like I don't know. There's mm-hmm. different ways you can cuddle. I guess, and it's just like. It's comforting for my yeah, soul. Yeah, it's cuter. I, we Making agree on out, that. <laughs> um, we've talked about this before, but I probably am not the best maker outer. I just do a bunch I'm of pecs. I'm definitely not. And I just, I'm like, I'm, ew. 
the, the mouth has so much bacteria. And then like, I've like made out with guys that had like cigarette breath oh, or like, oh God, or yeah. they're just like <laughs> really dry or either too slobbery or too dry or too like, I don't, I, don't I know. It's weird. I will say, I think when I'm drunk and that person's drunk, I actually like the making Well, yeah, out. when you're drunk, like, you don't like care. Sloppy, you're like, ah, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I like sloppy. Yeah, I think I like sloppy drunk stuff. I yeah. think it's because <laughs> when you're sober, you overthink. Yeah. Like, what are we doing? But when you're drunk, it's like, let's just, just do it. Cares. Let's just like lick each other's faces. Yeah. Do you bite the lip at all? Like, are no. you a biter? Th- really? No. I kind of like that. I'm kind of into that. I don't, I don't think I'm like, confident enough to go in for the lip biting. It's just like a little thing. I don't know. It's nothing I like, like when serious. they do it, but I don't like, I'll like go in there, like I'll like kiss their neck. I like ki- like neck kisses. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that's like my move. Cause ever since my first boyfriend, whenever I would do that, he would go wild. So I was like, okay, this works. So I would like, yeah, guys I do that. that. I love that. I, I like when too. people do my neck. Hair pulled or back scratched. Oh, back scratch. Like, like a back rub? No, like oh, like while you're sex, sex. like do you like having your hair pulled or your back scratched? Which one would you pick? If you could only have one, I mean, I've had both for the, for the rest of your. Life. Um, I think the back scratch. I don't know. I've had both. I like both. I don't know. I like you. Both. You have to pick one. You can't just do both. Ah, uh, I'm gonna say the back scratch. Okay, you. I'm going to say the back scratch only because I have hair extensions. And so every time I'm like in the moment and I do it, I have to go back and be like, no, no, or gentle. Cause can you imagine these things weren't cheap? Okay. I'm not about to go back in there and explain what happened and pay $500 for to sew them back in. Okay. I just um, picture like the moment. Cause I know you, you'll be thinking about that. And you're just like, everything's going well. And you're like, it's the hair. And you're like, no, 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 no. Just lightly. Uh, uh, like, no, I have moment. to turn around and be like, I have to go like that. Um, I don't even really oh care to have my back scratched either. I could. Do, I don't need. I don't need it. Don't oh need my that. god, that's so funny. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um. Okay. I want to recap on the Netflix, but whatever. Mm. Okay. They're about to get like just weird. I don't know. Who knows? I like. Okay. it. Okay. Would you rather? have random orgasms in public for the rest of your life or never be able to orgasm again. Okay. So I was watching this thing and this woman actually that happened to her. She like had sex and she couldn't stop orgasming and like 24 hours went by and she went to the hospital and they still like could not figure out what was wrong with her and it like wouldn't stop, which hearing that I'm like, that's amazing. I love that. But it was like, like actually very concerning and they couldn't figure out why I would do. I would choose to have one in public every once in a while because I can control myself. I'm not going to be like, Oh, no, no, I can control myself. I can just kind of, but no, 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 that's not it. No, no, you would have outbursts. Like it would that's be a not whole in the question because some people when they orgasm they're quiet. Some people when they come they're loud. I understand that, but that is that you're adding your own that's narrative. The, that's yes. Would you rather have the full on production show the oh or not? I probably still would do it. Okay. Yeah, because that would suck to never have one of those for the rest of your life. That's like some of my favorite moments in life is having that happen which is i like, think i'm on the path already of just not well, ever you never do anyway so <laughs> that's what i'm saying so might as well just keep going with it the rest of my life um no i'm kidding i i would rather have the random public outbursts i would just be like sorry it's just a problem I- <laughs> sorry i'm just you're so uh, good looking at that i just can't control myself <laughs> would you rather have teeth for hair or hair for teeth these are the weirdest questions. I know, but it's like, um, it makes you think. Thought provoking. Teeth for hair or hair for teeth. Teeth for hair, because it's easier to like change your hair. Teeth are a little harder to fix. What okay. No, uh, do not touch my teeth. No hair, no. So you would do the hair? I think, yeah. Lights on or lights off? I would say lights off because I feel like it gets you just more in the mood. Like when the lights are full on, I'm just like, uh huh. You're like, what? <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. I feel like when the lights are dim, there's like candles. Like my ex yeah. would be really good about that. Noah was good about that. He'd always have the candles, like the music yeah. or like, no, the full on lights. I'm like, what's happening? I'm shocked because you love the lights. 
but not during that time. Like, I can barely get there mentally. I don't know what I'm about to say. I'm with you. I love, like, a good vibe going, dim the lights, have the candles, but I don't like when it's, like, pitch black. No, I agree. don't see I don't, each other. I don't, like the pitch black. I don't mind the lights on during that, because I think there's something sexy about, like, seeing them and them seeing me. Like, I just, like, yeah. I, like, want them to see every part of me. I'm, like come take a good look like I don't know I just think it's like hot Mm -hmm. um if you like can't see what's going I don't know I that's like I'm like a very visual person I'm and so that that's cool I also feel like it just depends on the day depends on if I've eaten a large meal that's true if if it depends if I've like (laughs) shaved if I have an ingrown hair like what's happening also like lights on or off you know like if I know and I'm prepared for the moment Sure, like have the yeah. lights on. But if it's like we're just feeling, our, you know, each other, and all of a sudden it's like let's go, whatever. I probably want the lights off because I probably wasn't prepared. That's true. That's so, a good point. Would you rather give up sex or give up food for the rest <gasps> of your life? Oh, <laughs> I'd rather give up sex than food. Yeah, food makes me happy. Yeah, it's my happy place. <laughs> you, I would be fine giving up both. <laughs> If, okay, you can't do that. So which one? Um, probably food. I'm like not a big foodie. Yeah, you're not a foodie. But I'm like, I go through like waves of like not being in a sex either. So I'm like, Ugh. well, you but had yeah. to pick one. You even said that to me earlier. Pick one. I know, I know. Probably food. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay, know. I have one more thing. Would you rather have penises for fingers or have a vulva for a mouth? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Penis is for fingers. Same. Don't mess with my face. Same. Yeah. Same. We can wear gloves. I am not about, yeah, no. Um, I, no. no. Then no one would want to make out with me. Or maybe <laughs> some freak leaks would. Oh my God. Anyways. Wow. I have I have one more thing I want to bring up. I feel like you're gonna like this okay. one. Okay. Okay. It's just a random fun fact to kind of end it, end the sesh here with us, this podcast sesh. Did you know that the voices of Mickey and Minnie Mouse are actually married in real life? Like the original Mickey and Minnie? Yeah. Like in the movies? Like yeah. the old school original? Uh, you're thinking too far. I, I don't know. Like what? Are we talking about Mickey and Minnie like dressed up at Disneyland? Are we talking like the old movies? Oh, no. Or the like originals. What? The originals. Wayne and Rusty were married for 18 years until... Wayne died in 2009. That's really cute. But how cute is that? Like, that's, that's so adorable. Sweet. That makes Minnie and Mickey even cuter to me. The fact that, like, they actually got married in real life is so cute. That's really cute. And you're all about Mickey, Minnie. Yeah. And you have a bag. It's really and you cute. like going to Disneyland. Yeah. I love that. I love love, man. I love, I love love and Disney. Take me to Disneyland. I'll be happy. Um, True. Okay. I also had one more thought. Okay. Um, I wanted to bring up earlier and I forgot, but I feel like I'm psychic. Why? Because you hate any of this kind of stuff. So let's hear it. No, so I, interested. it's so weird, but I had a dream last night about being on the subway in New York uh-huh. and I was like trying to figure out where to go. I was like, I think I was with a friend or my sister who lived in New York. I don't remember exactly, but they were like explaining how the subway works and it was the New York subway. Mm. And then today I'm scrolling and there's a news thing about the New York national guard to be deployed to the New York city subways. It's like big news that now the national guard is going to check bags and be the security at New York subways. Cause I guess it's getting kind of sketchy, but I thought that was interesting that I had a dream about being on a New York subway and then I'm seeing this about the New York subways. Um, so I just had to share that. I thought that was kind of weird because I've never had that happen. Where, like I have a dream about something and then like yeah. something happens. That's in like life. old school news. And you know what? Oh, it is. I wonder if it was in your subconscious because I've been watching videos. In I've my room. Ne- but I've never seen it. I know, but maybe so you overheard for it. me. No, I didn't hear anything. Okay. So it's old news, but it's just now coming up for me on my feed. So I thought it was news from today. But anyway. Mm. I guess it's been old news, but it's new to me. Well, I didn't old, know old, yeah. about it. I didn't. We didn't talk about subways or anything. But I and have I watched that, videos in my room about it. I don't it. hear your videos in your room. I don't go to your door and listen no, to what I you're know, listening to. But maybe to. subconsciously, your mind overheard I'd, it. Maybe I don't remember mm-hmm. hearing any of that. But I just thought that was weird because I'd never seen anything about it. Um, kind of wild that that's Ooh. happening. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I don't really think I'm psychic. I just thought that was kind of interesting how I had that dream. And then I, I happened to stumble upon that. That article. is, that is crazy though. Yeah.
Hope you guys enjoyed all those rapid questions. That they was weren't really rapid, fun. but the would okay. you rather questions. I enjoyed. I feel like we should do another episode like that sometime because that was that was a good time. I know, a like you kind of get to know us, but also it makes you think. Like, what would, what would you, you pick? Yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment what you would pick for some of these. Um, if you're just listening, send us a DM. Oh yeah, you find know? us on Instagram, all the platforms at Excuse My Friend or at Heartland Ray if you want. Some of our comedy content. Um, Yeah, and like this podcast, leave a review, subscribe, show us some love that really helps us out. And uh, we love you, and we can't wait to chat next week. Chat next. I was going to (laughs) say perform for you. I was going to say talk for you. We can't wait for you to come hang out with with us next week. All right. Chat soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.